Good morning, at least I think it's still morning. Um, I hope everybody's, uh, hope everybody's having a good day and feeling good. Um, uh, how do you like my backdrop today? My, this is an old painting um, all done with an aerosol can. Uh, obvious what it is, right? So it's not much of a story to it, but it is what it is. Um, the um, kangaroo, the boomer, is a strong character. Yeah, um, I, I'm, I'm feeling the boomers are like a strong character and I seen one when I was up on my walk up on the hill the other day and um, he was just like this one here. It was a big red one, and uh, he stopped and he was just, just letting me know he was there. But yeah, it was a very, very powerful presence, and um, the name of the presence that came this morning and often comes to me when I'm on my walks, and, um, and that's Abraham. To, uh, I need to go and read the uh, book of Genesis. Sorry, no, not that one. It's purity just came out. But Holy Spirit, now we just want a general message for the collective. What do we need to uh, be talking about or seeing um, today? Um, we've got powerful, um, a powerful spirit around us with this kangaroo here, or Yonga in Noongar language. Noongar is the uh, indigenous people from this area, and this um, area specific is um, uh, uh, Baladong, Baladong people. Noongar area. It's quite big, quite a big area. But we give respect, right? And acknowledgement. For allowing us to be here in this space. Enlightenment. We have enlightenment here. Um, I hope you can hear me all right. Enlightenment. Abraham here is bringing us enlightenment. It's on this um, yacht sailing forward to the stars. It's like this yacht is um, what was that dream that I had the other day? The falling, falling into the stars. Falling into the stars. Adventure. We're on a new adventure. We're on a new time frame. We are on a more enlightened um, perspective. In a more enlightened uh, level of growth. It's an adventure. And here we've got like parrots coming in like. And it's the same colours. The birds here are the same colours as this um, kangaroo in the background here. And it reminds me of, you know, like the parrots come in when I, when I go and have a coffee in the mornings um, quite often at the bakery here. And the, um, they always give you a little biscuit. And, uh, you know, I feed the parrots and they come in and, um, uh, oh, I, I, you know, come in and talk to me. And um, anyway, I didn't uh, go in, I didn't go and have my coffee, I just walked, um, come straight home. And, um, and I'm walking along the street and I was just about to go past, excuse me, the bakery where I usually um, feed parrots. 
and I was walking along the street and then these two parrots came zooming down and like just landed on the bin in front of me as if to say, hey, look, aren't you coming to give us a biscuit? <laughs> it was pretty cute. But it just reminded me of that. So this is the adventure, you know, like the adventure is in this spiritual uh, sense, uh, you know, like all these uh, new experiences that we have when we become more heightened and more enlightened uh, um, and the connection that we have with nature um, and it is it is like a new adventure you know it will not be in the same place or whatever but once you go to that level or that height you um, and you might be like walking on the same street every day or whatever or going to the same park every day but it's like every day is different in the sense and it's like a new adventure every day because uh, we have these small experiences that um, that um, connect us closer to uh, God that connect us closer to the Holy Spirit when you're out there and when the you know like when the birds and that interact with you uh, it's uh, pretty special love we have here so this is what's coming in for the collective because they have uh, you know got to that enlightened level and now this is the new adventure you know like it's the spiritual adventure uh, that we're heading on on this boat and it's falling into the stars so it's like falling into the spirit falling you know like going with it just flowing with it you know like um, you know the enlightenment is and see that boat it's like it's just rising up into the stars and then experiencing uh, that uh, that falling into falling into spirit and then it, it's like a new adventure and you see all these new wonderful things and there's so much love there you know um, and noticing the beauty in nature with these flowers it's like that's the adventure right like really seeing what's really there when you know uh, further than that 3D level, you know, we're going into the 5D here, and when we have fulfillment with the peach and the full moon and the fulfillment, that's like all that is desired, you know, like the peach is, you know, the symbol of that abundant um, peachy experience. Anything is possible when we reach that enlightenment. Yo, <laughs> I'm excited. So be still. And look, again, you know, like I was saying, falling into the stars, it's like, be still and, um, you know, spirit will come to you. And that's like, that's the falling into the stars, falling into the heavens. Um, when you allow it to come to you rather than stressing being on the search all the time, you know? If we just allow ourselves to relax and flow, um, all, that, um, all that is uh, and is desired just uh, flows to you. So this is the stillness here and, you know, falling into the stars is still, it's like, you know, the, the falling into the stars is like falling into spirit, falling into, uh, allowing, uh, letting go and let go, that's what it is. So you let go and um, it's a bit like, you know, how gravity and we're, we're, we're stuck to this planet uh, with gravity. Um, so it's a bit like, you know, when you're struggling, you're struggling if you're um, drowning, like if you're caught under water in a rip or something like that, and you know, like, rather than struggling trying to get to the top, you, you relax and, uh, and you rise to the top, you float, you know? 
but you've got to relax rather than that struggle struggle to win all the time struggle to get on top struggle to achieve struggle to pay the bills and all that sort of shit so if you let go and let God it just it's provided that's falling into the stars it's letting God take the reins the creator of everything all that is all that was and all that will ever be okay let's pull some tarot on this yeah we'll use the crows since we're talking nature talking birds yeah so i'm feeling pretty content i was um i was pretty stressed uh you know, but I let go, right, and fell into the stars. Um, ah, we have the emperor, because that's it, that's what happens. When you get to the top, the emperor and the sun, the wish fulfillment, that's everything. All that is, all that was, and all that will ever be. And notice the colours again. So I chose to sit in front of this painting today. Notice the similarities in the colours. Isn't that interesting? It's hot, it's warm. It's, um, it's comforting. It feels secure because this image here is so strong as the emperor is in the sun. It's like this boomer here in the background. You know, that strength of spirit. That strong emperor spirit that is. Yeah. Wow. I love that. Enlightenment. This is enlightenment. Fall into the stars. Holy Spirit, can you um, enlighten us on the enlightenment? Okay. Ooh, what do we got here? So we got the Queen of Swords. She's uh, she's on her throne. So it's an air sign. Could be. Um, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, uh, but she is, um, I can, I'm just seeing it, oh look, the Empress is at the bottom of the deck, so that's the Empress, bottom of the deck, and she's wounded, you know, the Nine of, the nine of Wands is always, to me, um, you know, the wounds, the getting, earning the stripes, you know what I mean, and then we've got the lovers there as well, coming in, oh my goodness, we've got the, uh, eight of wands. We've got the lovers coming for the empress, who's earned her stripes and earned the justice. And then we've got the six of wands. <laughs> it's going on and on. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the coin of swords. We've got justice coming. Queen of swords and the ten of swords. So obviously, you know, like when we get to these, um, you know, like people use that expression, um, new levels, new devils, because we're in the enlightenment age and everybody wants, once you get to a specific level, everybody wants to knock you down. Everyone wants to knock you off your, off your stool, right? And that's what this is going on here. So this, uh, you know, there's people there in the background, you know, the haters, the people that are jealous and, and all that. Uh, want to uh, knock the qu Queen of Swords off the pedestal. But look, she's just going like, she don't, she's just like waving. <laughs> it's a bit like those penguins off of Ice Age, you know, like, is it Ice Age? Penguins. I think so. And they go, smile and wave, boys, smile and wave. You know, that's all you can do, really, right? We like, can get all these haters, people trying to stick all these swords in the back and shit. Uh, but, you know, this Queen of Swords is just doing that. You know, what else is there to do, really? Yeah. But they're still trying. Still trying to stick those knives in the back. The swords in the back. So... Anyway, but we do need to be aware because, yeah, this sometimes can be quite serious, you know. But not to be a 
fearful because fear, if we are in fear, that means we're not letting go and let God, right? Um, deal with things. That means that we're, our faith is dropping if we are scared. Because when, you, when your faith is at a higher level and you're really letting go to the Holy Spirit, then um, there's no fear in that. You know, like, I will fear no evil, you know, as I walk through the valley of death, you know. We don't fear because we're protected by the Holy Spirit, right? And everything, we don't fear anything because uh, the abundance always turns up as we need it also. You know, even if people are, um, you know, threatening uh, to take that away, you know, like, um, you know, because, you know, those little birds will probably even bring it in on, uh, you know, with breadcrumbs, you know what I mean? But they bring an abundance. But it's almost like... See, I'm seeing these little birds here as like our spirit guides and they're actually bringing the abundance with these flowers here. It's almost like they're bringing the flowers in and that waterfall, you know, the waterfall, the sustenance, the, you know, the refreshing, clean, um, clean water. What more could we want, you know? What more could we want? And that's letting go. Wow. Mm. Adventure. It's all new. It's an adventure. So we need to get excited and, um, you know, put all these... Put all these backstabbers to rest. Adventure. What is the adventure? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling um, I'm feeling pretty excited, you know. Um, you know, like I, I um, I pretty much put it out there. I, I, I am actually pretty, uh, you know, like financially broke, but I'm not fearful because um, I all, it, it always comes in for me, you know, like whatever I need usually comes in. But having said that, you know, like I'm doing these, I'm doing free videos here, right? I do have a PayPal um, app uh, in the description box, which you can copy and paste into your browser to uh, bring up the PayPal, and you can actually make a donation. That would really help me, you know, if you want to be part of my uh, my uh, my world uh, in actually helping me out a bit as Spirit does. What goes around comes around, right? So when you're giving, you know, like it comes back to you. So, but I'm just uh, letting you know that that's there. Like, <laughs> so here we have um, the stability with the four of wands. So having the stability, we have at the bottom of the deck. We've got the um, three of wands, the paths. We're waiting for those ships to come in. So. There we have our uh, Four of Wands. Okay, yeah, so this is, um, so the adventure, so, and this is it too, right, the adventure, when we've got the uh, Ten of Swords here. So when things, um, when people come in and want to stick those um, Ten of Swords in your back, and we're coming in here in the chariot, so because we've got here um, stability, so we're stable in our uh, place, uh, with the strength. Again, we've got these colours, right? That strength of character uh, holds us in our place. And again, you know, like, I keep getting these colours, keep focusing on the colours. And then these are also, see the strength in, in these colours again? The colours, you know? And those colours are the root chakra, so that's your stability. Um, the sacral chakra is the orange. Um, that's your, um, you know, your creativity and um, your um, your ability to uh, produce. Uh, um, and the solar plexus um, chakra, so it's the lowest three. Chakras, and you know, every one of those cards has got these colours. 
Oh, it's the orange of the peach. This is um, fulfillment, you know? This is stable. Okay, so that's the stability uh, in our uh, lower chakra areas. We've got those um, chakras cleared, but we've still got this um, ten of swords, somebody wanting to come and uh, mess that up for us. Uh, coming, we have a chariot, could be a cancer, could be police, could be um, it was just that movement um, forward or change. Right, uh, so somebody wants to change or stop stability. Well, it's the end of a cycle. Or well, somebody wants to, um, and we, because we've got temperance here as well, so we've got movement with the chariot that bring, brings change. We've got the world card which is like the end of a cycle so it's like something wants to come in and end a cycle temper our forward movement someone wants to end something all right yeah. so somebody wants to come in in this chariot and make a change to end and temper our stability because of that four of wands here, right? It's almost like, so this one and this one, it's very similar. See how this has got the water flowing, you know, we've got the flow, we've got the chakras clear, and we've got our um, creative flow, right? We are being creative, we've been productive, we've got the water flowing. And this one too, right? And this is, and that's what makes us, that gives us our stability. Uh, the four of wands and this is a water fountain as well so it's very similar to this so that's the flow all right and we've got somebody who wants to come and backstab this uh, stable situation that we have right. okay yeah we've got love here I'm also getting like, this is the temperance angel um, here. And see all that flowing water again, you know, balancing the cups and the water. So there's a balance going on here. And the triangle, the holy trinity. And then we've got the three again, the three of wands, bottom of the deck waiting for the ships to come in. So this is like, um, yeah, this is like guided, um, this is like earth angel, and, or, or uh, you know, like guided, spiritual guidance. Spiritual guide, spiritual guidance, uh, being supported by the Holy Spirit. So we've got, yeah, with the Ten of Swords over there in the background, we can rest assured because we are being guided and spiritually supported by the Holy Spirit in love with, with the love card here. All right? Love. Love, Holy Spirit. We might have some. Ooh. So we've got a contract at the bottom of the deck, we've got three of pentacles, could be a contract, could be a family, could be a coven, a group. Okay, well that's alright. Um, we've got um, wish fulfillment with love and the nine of cups here. So this is the abundance, this is, um, and with the five of wands it's the conflict in reverse. So the conflict is uh, reversed. And we are gaining 
wish fulfillment with the nine of cups there with all that abundance in it you know that stable um that stable abundance so the conflict is done because we love ourselves right we love ourselves and we put our you know we put our energy into ourselves into our own vessels into our own minds into our own hearts uh, by clearing our own chakras, loving on ourselves, taking care of ourselves, eating good food and uh, drinking fresh water and, um, you know, like really um, sucking in that. This, this is the falling into the stars thing, right? You know, like we're really falling into that, um, that feeling of that self-care is when the Holy Spirit enters um, the body, you know what I mean? And it's actually, a, it's like a physical, it's like a physical feeling of sustenance and vitality and, you know, like, um, you know, like when you get refreshed and when you eat some nice fresh fruit or something that feels like really thirsty and then you eat some nice cold grapes or something and you get that real nice feeling of, um, you know, like sustenance in the body. It's like, this is what this feeling is giving me. It's like a real um, clean energy and clean water, like fresh flowers, and, you know. And, and like with this four, five of wands here, it's this environment in the background with all this battling and fighting and carrying on. It's kind of bleak. There's no fresh. Uh, there's no freshness to this environment here. It's bleak, you know what I mean? It's not like, it's not like having these fresh flowers around you or, or, or this beautiful fresh running water and flowers and birds and, you know, just that sort of blissful energy. Um, but this is in reverse. So this, this, this cold, conflicting, um, thing that was is in the past it's in the past it's done and gone and you know all those that's why the temperance angel is here as well it's the past and with the world card there that's all past energy okay and that is uh, the connection here um could be a contract with uh, two of cups here. Somebody's going through karma. The wheel of fortune in reverse. No longer juggling pen pentacles. Yeah, look, somebody's in remorse because they can't affect. The, this, this is family in reverse, or the ten of cups in reverse. It's. Yeah, so somebody else is out here like that, well, the collective, uh, you know, abundance. So, yeah, the illusions here that um, were here, walking away from all that illusion. So the collective are walking away, yep, from all the foolishness and bringing justice. Justice is here. Uh, I just want to remind you, um, like, um, you know, like if you like my paintings, uh, you can actually uh, buy my paintings, um, or you can order prints. Um, so this is a way that I'm uh, bringing in some income um, at the moment. Um, so you can email me, I've got my email in the description box. I'll put that in there. It's also on like the main my main page. You can find it there. Um, um, or oh, you can go to my Flickr account. I've got um, a list of um, links to my other accounts. So I've got a Flickr account. I've got Facebook. Uh, I've got um, Instagram. Uh, but you'll find. Um, yeah, you can have a look at a whole lot of my other images and stuff on Flickr. 
So just email me if you like something and um, I can get that printed into like a poster or um, I can do, um, or I can have it printed on canvas if you like. Um, you can, I haven't got a, a list of sizes at this stage, but um, you can give me an idea of um, a size that you would like and then I can um, work with, uh, you know, getting it as close as that as possible. Okay, depending on the dimensions of each painting, right? Uh, okay, so we've got the fulfillment here. Fulfillment spirit with this beautiful peach. See that beautiful fresh fruit I was talking about? You know, that feeling of freshness and love and, you know, like spirit. Bottom of the deck we have the Knight of Swords, something moving quickly and fast. And here we've got Three of Cups. <sighs> so this is somebody else here. So fulfillment, we've got a Queen of Cups here. So this is a, um, a mother figure, a nurturing figure, um, Queen of Cups. Somebody's not, um, yeah, they're not, not suffering here. They've got fulfillment. They've got for, mm. So they're not, this Queen of Cups uh, could be a um, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. Or could be anybody else just in that energy, you know. It could be just a mother figure. Right. Nine of Swords in reverse. So this figure is um, is uh, not not suffering here. Without this Nine of Pentacles, we've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And didn't I say, you know, like so? Yeah, like so. What I'm getting here is like. Um, We can celebrate with the Three of Cups here. This is a celebration of being content without all the material, without all the material wealth, and being content that we can celebrate that we have enough of uh, everything, what we need. It's, it's always provided by the Holy Spirit if you know how to let go and fall into the stars. Fall into spirit. Fall into God's arms, basically. Fall into the nat natural law. And I'm also, I'm, I'm feeling like this, <laughs> this kangaroo behind me here. It's like, you see how it goes arms like that? And I'm just saying, fall into God's arms, right? And I'm, this is what I'm getting from the, uh, the kangaroo here. His arms is almost ready to embrace, you know? Uh, but this is what I'm getting here, this nurturing spirit with the Queen of Cups is not stressed about having, n not having a lot of pentacles, uh, but they're celebrating and having enough here with the Three of Cups. And we have that fulfillment, you know, like because we get enough from nature. Fulfillment, the big peach. We can still, uh, we can celebrate in knowing that we will be provided for, even though we feel as though we don't have enough. And that's the whole point when we're talking about fear. Um, not fearing going without because it's lack mentality, right? So when you're in lack, that's when you really suffer. But we can celebrate. Wow. Now, okay, what else have we got to say here, Spirit? Let's, uh, Let's find out a little bit more about this. I want to find out what this, uh, t I don't want to dwell on, you know, like the backstabbing and shit, but I do want to find out what that is. Um, 
for the Queen of Swords here. See, the Queen of Swords has got integrity and um, smile and wave, boys, right? Uh, and people don't like that, you know? People get pissed off with that. They don't like um, the collective to be... I suppose they see it as being smug, but it's not smug. It's just... Um, being enlightened. We've got the enlightenment card here. If people don't like that. This is jealousy and shit that. Uh, jealousy that uh, comes with enlightenment. You know, that's just part of. You know, it's just to be expected that people are gonna stick swords in your back. But you've got to be thick skinned, you know, like thick skinned so you can repel those swords. Ten swords because it's going to come yeah we've got the nine of wands so that's the wounding right that's the um that's the wound you don't get to that level of enlightenment unless you've <laughs> experienced that you know like you can't you can't learn without experiences right the collective have um earned their stripes earned the stripes right Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords. What else you got to tell us about this Ten of Swords here, please, Spirit? This wounding. So I'm getting past energy here because we've already earned those stripes. What have we got here? So we've got yeah, a King. We've got a Knight of Wands. We've got a Knight of Swords, and we've got a Ten of Pentacles. So then I say this is past energy. Mm, but this could be um, this could be reward for that past energy coming in with the Knight of Swords. Because we've got the Knight of Swords here at the bottom of the deck as well. That Knight of Swords coming in as the Knight of Swords is coming in as a Knight of Wands. Somebody's coming in passionately. Could be an air sign, a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Could be police. But somebody's coming in passionately for a Ten of Pentacles. That, now I'm getting they're coming with a Ten of Pentacles because it's at the back. It's on the back of this um, Knight of Swords. And they're coming passionately with the Knight of Wands. So this could be um, uh, somebody who's interested in the collective, like, in a, you know, intimate way. Uh, could be bringing pentacles or they're chasing pentacles but it's not giving me chasing pentacles because it's behind the um, the knight of swords and that's why that's giving me It's almost like, it's like a compensation for the Ten of Swords of the past. Oh my God, I'm getting hot. I've got hot all of a sudden. It might be this, <laughs> might be this Knight of Wands. Give me a, I get hot. <laughs> might be coffee too. Okay, what's the Ten of Pentacles here, Spirit? Well, where's this coming from? This Ten of Pentacles? What is this? Yeah, it's taken away. Yeah, look, this is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. So it's reversing that lack. Being out in the cold. This is being reversed. Show me the Knight of Swords. Just fell on the five of wands there in reverse. So yeah, what did I say? Somebody coming uh, 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 as a partnership here with the two of cups. Could be a love partnership or it could be a business partnership. 
Knight of Wands. Who's this Knight of Wands here? Spirit? Knight of Wands. What is, what is this here? Hmm. So, somebody is not remorseful about not having love, or Queen of Swords. So, Queen of Swords, though, is in reverse here. We've got the Ace of Cups in reverse, and then we've got the Nine of Swords in reverse. And the Nine of Swords is in reverse over here, too, and we've got a Queen, queen of could be Queen of Swords in reverse. So it's like somebody is not remorseful for taking something from the collective. And this is um Queen of Swords in reverse, who could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. This could be somebody who backstabbed here with the Ten of Swords. Somebody connected to this uh, knight, these two knights here, which I feel is the one person. The Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Ooh, 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 I've just got another angle of that. <sighs> oh my God. It's like, the other angle I got is that the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands are in it for the money and they are lovers so they were chasing the money but this is like you know uh, LGBTQ uh, situation this is another angle right so take it how it resonates So somebody's either coming in as those two energies with a ten of pentacles because it's behind, it's behind them. So, or the motive is the money behind them. So the motive is the motive behind them coming forward for a two of cups situation is to come out of the lack mindset with the five of pentacles in reverse. Uh, so the motive behind it is money, right? And there's no remorse or love here because of, because of the ace of cups. And this person is not remorseful this Queen of Swords in reverse. So this Queen of Swords in, rever in reverse is a malicious bitch, lying bitch. Malicious lying bitch here is not remorseful. They're all about the money. There's no love. All right, so this is where this Ten of Swords is coming from. Okay, so let's have a look, see here, let's have a look at this Queen of Swords here in the upright. So, and this is uh, with enlightenment. So the enlightenment about the Queen of Swords in the upright, I feel, is the collective. Queen in the upright, Queen of Swords in the upright, Holy Spirit, tell us about this. Oop. Yeah, so there's the burden, uh, you know, it was trying to, 
It was going to come out in the upright, but it's coming out in reverse. So the burden is in reversed. Right? So the Queen of Swords is in the upright is not burdened by this situation. And they are enlightened by the situation. Where's the chariot here? Here's the chariot. Here's the chariot. The chariot is giving. Um, so this is the four of pentacles in the reverse. So this is, yeah, this is the giving, right? This is uh, for the collective to receive. So this is where uh, this knight of swords and knight of wands is coming with the pentacles situation to, to make an offering after this or other situation. But this is, this is, um, because the Queen of Swords has become enlightened, it's released the burden of um, fear, right? And lack mentality. And so it's opened things up to flow with the chariot here. So it's made things flow. And then that's why we've got the adventure with the flowing water here. And the stability with the Four of Wands. And the end of the old cycle of lack, which is the world, uh, the world card here. The world. We have the investment. It wanted to come out in, in the reverse, so this could be, uh, you know, like the bad investment being exposed, being tempered. Yeah. So the. The negative uh, intent has been reversed with the temperance here. Temperance has been reversed because uh, somebody's going to jail. Uh, or they're all in their head about this bad investment. Somebody's going to jail or they're all in their head about a bad investment. And that could be going back to this Queen of Swords in reverse. This could be who that is. Four of Wands. Tell us about Four of Wands, please, Spirit. Ooh, yeah. So somebody, mm, if I have to. So we've got the King of, uh, King, we've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, which is if I have to, if I have to pay. And we've got the Ten of um, Swords here. If I have to, if I have to pay stability. So, um, you know, we've got the Ten of Swords over here again. Ten of Swords. So somebody felt like they had to... Um, stab somebody in the back for their own survival even, you know, like um, for their own stability if I have to. I don't want to but they're going to go to jail for this. This is a bad investment. This is like a literal Somebody felt like they had no choice. Somebody felt like they had no choice to uh, make this bad investment. To stab somebody in the back, the collective. Huh? Uh, to, to gain accolades, to receive love. Somebody felt like they had to do this to receive. To receive accolades, love, you know, like, um, you know, some sort of recognition or... Somebody felt like they had to stab somebody else in the back, the collective, to gain accolades. This is bad. They're going to go to jail for whatever the fuck this is. Yeah. And 
it's gone too far for a bit of recognition, isn't it? Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups with the Six of Wands. We've got a Queen of Wands. See, with Temperance here and the Queen of Wands, it could be a Sagittarius. <clears throat> Who did this? Five of Wands in reverse. Yeah, they're not getting any new beginning out of this. <clears throat> There's no new beginning out of this. There's no new opportunity to actually stab somebody in the back again. That's for sure. Okay, Queen of... So, uh, we've got the Queen of Cups and, uh, you know, with the um, fulfilment here, has been relayed, laid to rest, this whole situation's done. And the uh, uh, collective could be the uh, Queen of Cups here, or it's the end of this Queen of Cups situation. Nine of Swords in reverse. Nine of Swords in reverse and the Five of Swords. So the Five of Swords, as that's the end of this Five of Swords situation. With all this jealousy and battle, Five of Swords is like... Because, Backs, you know, like all the fucking, any negative bloody energy you can think of being projected towards the collective is finished, it's done. And the collective are going to be receiving their fulfillment. The Nine of Pentacles, whoopsie days. Okay, so we've got, keep the guard up, we're still juggling, but trust that this is, um, Then cut out, and we've got. Well, I just sort of wanted to slip out there. So we've got um, the Knight of Cups with the Two of Swords. It's been cut out. This apology, possibly. This juggling of the Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. Trust. that we're guarded. This is the Seven of Wands. So this is keeping the guard up. But trust in the Holy Spirit because our fulfillments are, yeah, okay. Trust in the Holy Spirit here with this offer because uh, trust that we will be celebrating here. But keep the guard up against any small offers. Yeah, keep the guard up against any small offers that could lead to the juggling situation with the pentacles again and leave you uh, in lack. But trust with the Seven of Wands, that we are protected and we will be able to celebrate. Okay, let's get one more on the three. We've got the King of Cups at the bottom. Could be that Knight of Cups with that offer, but we've got two of swords there. Okay, Three of Cups. Tell us about the Three of Cups here, please, Spirit. Yeah, there's balance here. Trust that the balance is going to uh, be there. And we will be fulfilled because we have trust, we have faith. That's what this is about. This is all about trust and faith. That uh, everything's going to work out because of the collective's faith in the Holy Spirit. 
falling into the stars is what we we're talking about. We're, we're being held by the Holy Spirit in the arms of the Holy Spirit. That's what this is about. Simple. The illusions are gone. Because no one can, um, no one can uh, mess, mess with that, right? Let's just have a look here and see if who's involved here with my uh, shitty cards here, which I made. I didn't even cut them all the same size, right? So it's really <laughs> I just was being lazy. I didn't even do it properly. I just wrote on them and cut them out with the scissors. And so we've got a sister, all right? Sister, a father. A husband. Well, these are all the people involved here in this backstabbing and shit. The arts. This can be, um, you know, like um, the arts in general, or arts um, as in spiritual arts. And the arts probably come out here because you know this. Right, because of my brother, there's a brother involved. What's the Shire, a whole Shire is involved. An Aries. Anyone else involved here, please, Spirit? An Aquarius. Anyone else? And homeless. Just landed on the Knight of Wands over here. So yeah, this could be about um, this group, this coven. Trying to um, wear down the collective to be homeless. Is there anyone else involved here, Spirit? The society. The whole freaking society. Taurus. Pisces at the bottom of the deck. Now let's um let's just see if we've got spirits got anything else to say here. Is there any um, cause and effect here? Holy Spirit, cause and effect. Why has this come about? Why do we have this situation? Cause and effect. Cause and effect. Jesus is here. Look, yes. <laughs> so I got yes, and I got Jesus. Because we're talking about faith, right? We're talking about walking in faith. That's what it's all about. Investigating, investigation. Give up. A car. A relative. Move. Moving. Wedding and God. Wow. False. A cause and effect, please, Joe. Why is this why is this situation even come about? What is this all about? Well, we know it's about Jesus and faith, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> this is a test. This is a test in um, forgiveness. Lord. 
relative. Forgive. Forgiveness and relative. For they know not what they see. They know not. They don't know what the fuck they're doing, right? They just don't know. And that's why the clouds are here. So we've got, forg for what is it? Forgiveness. Forgive the relative. For they know not what they do with the cloud here. Hello. What's up here? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I took my jacket on because I felt it. Oh, 